This was such a smart question from one of you guys on my YouTube channel. I wanted to make a video because it was too important to just let it be a comment under one of my videos. So one of you guys asked me, um, hey, when I'm trying to find reference tracks that I want to emulate and spend a lot of time making something that sounds like it, how do I know this is a reference track that's going to get placements? Like what if I'm mimicking a, a track that will sit on <laughs> some library's shelf collecting digital dust? For decades and decades, why, you know, that's going to be a really, really stupid waste of my time. Um, how do I know if I'm emulating the right track or not? Such a smart question, so I love you guys' comments, so please don't be shy to ask questions. There are no stupid questions. If you're brand new to this business, that's okay. You're going to have a lot of questions on how do you even get started, how do you understand this business, and hopefully my YouTube channel here and my free course, which you can find at syncmymusic.com, can help you at least navigate the very beginning stages of this business. But don't feel foolish or scared to ask any question because this is your career, this is your music career that we're talking about. And if you care about it at all, then you deserve to get some clear answers and some direct, hopefully, you know, helpful advice and information from what I'm doing here, okay? So how do you navigate this reference track situation to know that you're emulating the good ones, the ones that'll actually get placements? Well, if you've never worked with a music library before, or you've never even done your research on which library you want to submit to, you might not be aware that almost every library has a website and every website contains their recent work or the name, the, the clients or the projects that they've had their music featured in. They always want to showcase essentially, hey, we're working with big companies, we have brand names uh, or household names, brands that are uh, our clients that we work with. They want to sort of puff themselves up and make themselves look really, really special and really important and very valuable in the marketplace, right? To try to attract other clients. It's not necessarily to attract you as the composer. It's a good thing for us to see that, but they're not putting that up really for us. It's for the other clients to see, oh, wow, they've worked with HBO and NBC and ABC and cool. Okay, so this is a company that's legit. They've been around and we're going to be in good hands working with them. So that's on almost every single music library's website when you're going to do your research. So what you need to do, and if you don't know how to do your own research on music libraries, well, there's a video on my YouTube channel called How to Find Music Libraries 100% on Your Own. You can definitely check that out. I'll link it below. Um, or you can go to Sync Edge, which is going to be the much faster approach where you can get my personal music library recommendations. These are the companies that I think are the most reputable, have been in the business the longest, and have the strongest track record of actually getting their writers placements and doing really good things for them, okay? So you can check that out as well in the description box. But what you're going to do is go to the website, go to the library's website that you want to work with and you should have a library in not in mind before you create a bunch of tracks for the reference track i want to make sure that's clear that's a really smart idea rather than just creating music and then okay let me see if i can find a library for it you might get lucky and find somebody that needs it but it's a much smarter approach if you start out with the target know exactly what you could be doing work your way backwards create the product and then pitch it to that specific target rather than creating the project product and then going, well, I hope I can find some target out there that'll work for this. I mean, it's possible. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. I've had many students have it happen for them. But I have to be honest with you guys. The smarter approach is to know the library first, then do the work. So go to the library, get the website. And on that tab where it says our projects, our work, you can listen to most of their placements of the, that they're showing off. This isn't every placement that they've ever done, but there's going to be a good 20 or 30 on their website that showcase, hey, here's our Pepsi commercial. Listen to it. You can click play and watch that Pepsi commercial and go, oh, so that's kind of a hip hop track with some male vocals with a little bit of, um, you know, South American, um, you know, percussion added to it. So, hey, that might be a sound that I can kind of steer my music towards. Or you'll hear a car commercial that has very sparse, minimal piano music with some really heavy emotional overtones to it. So maybe that's something you want to do. Um, with Sync Edge, I basically point that kind of stuff out to you guys. Okay, so I'll show you. Here's the library. Here's the recent placements. Listen to what's going on with these placements. Um, in fact, one of the ones that I just released was all about, um, it's a company that does specifically just ads and commercials. And there's a particular type of music that seems to really do well with their ads and their commercials. So I basically talk about kind of where you could fit in with that sort of stuff. So that's what you need to do. And then when you find a commercial or a song or something that's like this style seems to really work well with this company, that's where you go and find references, all right? You don't necessarily have to use the exact 
place track on their reel that they that they showcase, right? But you find something like it either within their catalog or you go on YouTube or Spotify and you try to find music like it and go, okay, this is a style that I see really works well with this company. These are my reference tracks. So that's how you know, or at least do your best effort in terms of mimicking the right kinds of reference tracks that can actually get you placements. Of course, with all of this, even if you do all of this grandiose research and, and take the time to do all this kind of stuff, does that guarantee your tracks will get placed? I hope you guys all know the answer to that is obviously no. You cannot guarantee anything in this business and I can't guarantee you anything. Nobody can guarantee you anything. Um, in my career, however, what helped me get over that hurdle of psychological kind of fear and doubt and what if I'm gonna be wasting my time is I basically just put myself in, in terms of thinking uh, where are the odds of success and how can I best put myself in a position to be in that um, place to gather and get as many placements as possible with the right types of music um, and then stack up my, my placements over and over again continuously so that I actually have a continued stream of royalties pouring in. How can I do that to the best of my, my ability? I can't control what happens with the library. I can't control that their clients want or don't want my music. They, these are things that are out of my control. So even worrying about them and being stressed about them is literally the worst thing you can do because not only is it a waste of time, it's gonna actively sabotage you. It's gonna actively make you doubt yourself whether or not you, you can succeed in this business. So to the best of your ability, keep that out of your head. Try not to basically entertain those kind of negative thoughts and just think about what can I do? Okay, I can do my research. I can find the library I wanna work with. I can check out their, their recent work. I can use that to find the reference tracks that I can best emulate and create a full album and pitch to these maybe one or two libraries that I feel are the best for me. And then once that's completed and you get accepted, because you should be thinking and expecting that you will be accepted, right? Keep that positive you know, affirmation basically going. It's a really, really important thing not really important it's essential it's absolute you have to believe that you're going to do well if you really think you're going to do well in this business so once you get accepted then it's like okay well now what can i do can i guarantee that those 10 tracks are going to get placed no so what can i do well i can create more music i can actually supply them with even more licensable useful music that might be relevant for their clients right now so what can i do about that well i can email them i can call them i can say hey what are you guys working on what do you need how can I best serve you? How can I best create another 10 tracks, 12 tracks that'll basically go right into your catalog and hopefully right into your client's hands so they can put it in their TV shows, movies, and commercials? That's it. That is really, I mean, it's simple to think about. Like, that's really all it takes to succeed. Yes, much harder to do, much harder to in practice. As many of you have been doing this for a while, you can attest. It's really, really easy and under, to understand how to succeed in this business. It's very practical. But to actually do that and to show up week after week, month after month, especially when royalties take nine months to a year to show up in your bank account. That's why you don't know a lot of people doing this full time. That's why I might be one of the only people you've ever heard of that do this full time. Maybe a couple of other people do this, um, but that's really what it takes is just constantly showing up and putting yourself in position to do really well. So I hope that answers that question. If you guys have any other questions, thoughts, comments, concerns about reference tracks, submitting to libraries, sync edge, anything like that, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to answer those.